Hey, everybody, welcome to Max Mode. And uh, I'm Coach, a.k.a. Mr. Annual, and I'm joined today by... I'm Will, the tank, young Will. <laughs> Excited to be here this morning, ready for some Samurai Showdown. Yep, it's a beautiful day. And, yeah, Samurai Showdown, uh, one of the big games represented here, one of the games that it's kind of near and dear to Atlanta's heart. And so I'm really glad that we were able to represent it here. Yeah. And uh, first up on the stream, we got uh, Scrub Cybot, who's been winning most of the tournaments, pretty much uh, that have been going off offline, and the Pain Pot, who's been the ambassador of Sam's show for the area. So this, this is a match we want to see because these two have never actually met in person at all. So this is going to be their first kind of confrontation of uh, kind of the the champion pre-COVID and the post-COVID champion, you know? It's exciting stuff. Yeah, like you said, Painbot been holding it down locally, uh, always trying to push me back to the game. <laughs> I certainly don't play as much as I should these right. days. Uh, Mike has kind of fostered a, a really nice scene, especially in the, uh, the s not south Georgia, not the deep south anyway, but a right. bit, bit south of town. And then Scrub Cybot. Probably the most well-known Sam Show player in the States at this point. He just can't stop winning. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, Scrub Sidebot, part of the uh, Xbox community who's been, been playing, like, pretty consistently through the uh, COVID era, era because of the, uh, you know, the 120 FPS. I was going to say, yeah, if, yeah. if people didn't know, uh, Sam Show, one of the unique games that we play on Xbox these days, I, I guess we just have really sick ports. SNK decided to partner up with Microsoft on that one. Yep, so they got a 120 FPS build, so it's the preferred build. And so him and the Xbox community have been playing offline, forging his skills. So, you know, he's he's definitely <laughs> he's definitely honed. And, but paid by maybe not so much, even though like he knows the game very well. You know, he's not been someone who's been consistently putting in the hours despite, you know, his you know, bit of a dominant streak he had, you know, before COVID. We so. did recently, of course, get the rollback update, and mm -hmm. that came with crossplay. Uh, it, it did um, not between console. Oh, I, think it? it's, I think it's just between Epic and uh, Steam, if oh. I'm not mistaken. So Never mind. It's, it's essentially the status quo. I'm totally remembering wrong. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I don't know if this is a butt check or not because. Uh, I say, I don't see biking on the screen. Yeah, we got biking. And, and uh, Paypal says he typically wants to use Ibiki due to her like pun high punishment game because the big thing about biking is. Uh, Generally, she's difficult for most characters to punish, and she does a lot of damage for that safety, so you generally want a character that can retaliate. So it looks like they're just kind of testing it out, making sure they're, they're good. The sound's good. You know, you, know, you got the earphones. Yeah. Button tests aren't just for the buttons. You know, you want to feel the monitor. You want to get the sounds. You want to make sure that you feel a little comfortable when you get up there. That's how I see it anyway. You were, uh, you're so right. I was talking with Painbot yesterday. He said that Hibiki is probably the way to go. Uh, you know, she has that incredible weapon flip technique, which is like a baby Eason. You know, get a lot of punishes that other characters just cannot hit. Yeah, generally, uh, like a 2B is really fast. So, like, her and Bike have a similar kind of aspect where when, it, when someone recoils against them, they have an extremely fast button that goes kind of past the point where you can kind of deflect. And so you don't want to start reckless offense on them. But at the same time, they can start kind of strong offense. Like more so biking than Ibiki. Ibiki's kind of more like in Charlotte, strong, neutral mid-range, but she can convert from various ranges. And her pokes are a little more dangerous. But she doesn't have the consistency from further back. Yeah. I think big things of note, too, is uh, non-deflectable, really long-range tools. Even yeah. if you think you're getting a read on, like, a heavy slash or something, uh, you might just eat shit. <laughs> That's more Biken's uh, purview. Her 2B is uh, not a weaponless attack, but it still has like the properties of a weapon attack. So it gives a lot of people a lot of grief. There's 2C. Is, yes. But it wasn't spaced well. But uh, yeah, Painbot's using that, that neutral range. And now we're kind of engaging in, in the kind of chaotic how to play that Biken thrives in. Yeah, you saw that one one footsie touch from Biken doing almost 50%. Mm -hmm. Her damage is, is really the unique part. It comes all the time. Yeah, you see, you see him uh, scrub side back constantly using that jump and baiting with the uh, jump medium slash, where because it can reach it so far and it's kind of disjointed once it comes out. You know, it's one of those moments that's big when it starts up, and so she can kind of harass the poke. But uh, pain by getting really good with uh, any air to air, 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 excuse me. Ooh. Yep. Throw, and that's the round. Yep. Goodness. Spike and launches you up, does quite a quite a chunk of damage. Tatami, obviously, a really unique tool in this matchup. As much as you saw him spacing with the jump slash, you also saw the Tatami coming down. So even if you're trying to like run under her, you may still get tagged by the falling projectile. All right. Uh, get that far C, got a nice little chunk in. Again, her buttons are so fast that sometimes you just run into them. 
But there it goes into that jump target combo with Bike is known for harassing more with that jump beat. Just kind of get some distance. Doesn't want to commit too hard and risk losing that lead, especially with Hibiki's rage, because she can punish so much. So he doesn't want to overcommit. Heats through is safe oh, still. No. no punish though. I think what he wanted was dashing B, and he probably lost his dash. Probably so. All right, back to back to TC. And there's Ojo Johnson, a terror in the mini games. The Yo Johnson. <laughs> so close this paintball out with the overhead, and we are now 1-0. Not, not a super quick game. I think uh, Painbot was really concerned about this match, but he's holding his own. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot of back and forth, but I think this the fact that uh, Spike is getting the damage output higher, the, the chaotic nature is going to favor. And there's that 2B, just kind of harassing. And Painbot's not he's being trying to be too careful. Ah, no, he misses it. Uh, punish again. That was a big opportunity on the whiff throw. Slowly Scrub trying to push Scrub Cybot back to the corner. Mm -hmm. I really do like Painbot's use of that uh, that quarter forward A and quarter forward B. Mm -hmm. Super strong move. Getting whip punished like that kind of hurts though. Yeah, Goodness. Two C is a low. It's C really fast. Move C. forward. So yeah, like Viking definitely has those tools to punish you for whipping. Abiki does too. So we're seeing Scrub side by be a little more consistent. Oh, just puts it out there. Flip. All right, big opportunity for Painbot. Yeah, one touch. Scrub side by. Obviously couldn't take the trade on the weapon flip, backdash, and kill it. Yeah, looks, she's looking for the throw, but maybe about staying active in that range, moving, pressing buttons, and so we're seeing a lot of whiffs there. So we're going to have to maybe see Scrub side by kind of change up and uh, go more towards strikes or even kind of empty movement. Oh, and there we go. Goes for a far C instead of an SSM. Vikings is kind of short, but she might have been able to dash that. There it is. And that's the reason why you don't want to get aggressive on a Beaky. The damage is high. She has extremely fast punishing moves. Trying to end it on the next hit. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, gets a tear counter hit there. Uh oh. Yeah, paint by trying to get your rage like that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a common tactic when you disarm somebody, you go into rage, and then you force them into a checkmate scenario, especially when you're round up. But it didn't work out for Paybot, so uh, Scrub Sidebot gets to live. With the with the uh, raised part attack, in fact. Yeah, Biken still with some big old normals, even without her sword. Mm -hmm. But the big thing is that her conversion ability is lost without a weapon, but she still can harass you. Yeah, she's in guard break state, so uh, she, so uh, Biken has to be really careful here. All right, go side by taking some space. Wow, what a what a whiff punish. Al running C. Mm -hmm. That running heavy slash one of it. Kabari is one of the better tools of bike is too because if you get hit, she gets the conversion. If not, she's generally safe. So a lot of harassment. That's the, that's the name of the character. Harassment. <laughs> like so. It, but generally, uh, Scrub Side by doesn't like you know disrespect his own negative phrase. He just kind of just sees. Oh no, paint bot. Yep, there it is. What an unfortunate way to lose that one. Mm -hmm. Set up the checkmate situation, but just get knocked out of it. I definitely understand the concept of one of them, like how to put a strong player out of their game as fast as possible, like yeah. in a situation that favors you. But when you mess it up, it goes the exact opposite direction. <laughs> you know, a lot of times it's like, yeah, one touch does a lot of damage, but one touch is also a huge different situation, uh, especially when a uh, Painbot laid all of his cards out on the table mm -hmm. there. And so, like, you're not allowed to pick up your weapon, but <laughs> you have some crazy moves even without it already. Right. So like he's in a situation where he can win, but if he doesn't win, he's in a situation where it's extremely hard to win when it once it's over. Obviously, like we mentioned before, Hibiki's weapon flip technique, uh, one of her best features, and losing access to that for an entire round and a half was uh, might have been the decider there. Yeah, because like at that point, Scrub Sidebot doesn't have to be too reserved, right? He can yeah. pump up his risk tolerance. He can make more aggressive moves that have more conversion opportunities without worrying about just like, well, will I die for this? Yeah, big difference taking a 20% punish <laughs> minus a 40% punish. Mm -hmm. yep. And losing your weapon and then like, even though Biken has strong tools, you're still playing against oh, a yeah. who still has like a really good neutral control. So. No doubt, you're still down without your sword. Man, so that, that was that. And I guess we're going to the next winner's match, uh, which would be Big Bates versus uh, Latinx, a.k.a. Bato. I say I think the situation's different now, but throughout a lot of COVID and even before, Big Bates and Painbot were roommates, mm -hmm. carrying the scene within one house. Yep, for sure. And, uh, those two have like used each other to get really good. But similarly, Vato is from the DMV area, which is one of the like still active offline scenes for this game, where the people like him, Tao, um, and some others, they 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 still play the game offline. They still 
you know, focus on getting better. So generally, when they go out, they're generally like top eight good people. So yeah. we didn't we didn't get a lot of them. And my pal Taki, he's also from the DMV. But uh, Vato, he's a warden player, uh, one of the the guest characters. Very unique character in <laughs> yeah. scope of the game. He's 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 like one of those characters. Like he's super solid, man. But he also has like weird traits to him that you got to watch out for. Uh, he has a uh, Charlotte signature low jump, which makes his pressure really um, difficult to handle. So you have to deal with these pokes on the ground, and then this short, really fast jump. Say uh, the Rekkas on his normals too may trip some people up. Mm -hmm. You know, not blocking is scary. Going for punishes in the middle of strings. Well, what if he finishes the Rekka and you take that 25% in one hit? Oh. Yeah, this is an as aspect you have to look for. And then based on the other hand, Secret's a Genjiro player, but he's been known to mess with Mina. But yeah, but but you know, with Bates, his his core character, he's gonna go with his heart. So we're probably gonna see Big Genjiro up there. Heck yeah, you know Genjiro. Not considered the strongest character anymore, <laughs> but Bates is such a solid fundamental player across a lot of games. I, I think he can still take advantage of what Gendril has to offer. I mean, you look at the character. He has a DP. He has a um, He's got a good command hit, throw. Yeah, command throw, Rekka, good He's got buttons. the tricky projectile, really good buttons. So it's like he, he's not highly tuned anymore, but like at his core, he can't be bad. Yeah. So like as long as you can utilize those tools, you will always be uh, pretty effective, in my opinion. Say a really good throw combo and uh, the C uppercut and rage is so much damage. <laughs> yeah, it is actually difficult to punish with uh, SSM because it crosses you up. So like the way to cross up, so it's like he's gonna go with Mina, so he doesn't trust Genjiro. So yeah, Mina is his other character that he likes to play in practice. So uh, still the classic Mina, like really strong zoning, secretly really strong rushdown, mm -hmm. but lowest health. Well, it, or in the, one of the recent, one of the last patches, I think before COVID, they compacted the health. And that is only three tiers. Okay. So there's like a little low health, ma uh, average, and a little high. So there's nobody with crazy low or crazy high health anymore. Yep. We're gonna, we're gonna start out with the throw combo, air to airs with those big chunky uh, ward normals. Oh, the fake normal there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see that happen a lot. Yep. Are you gonna flinch or not? <laughs> yep. There it is. It has that signature low jump. So like, you saw base trying to go up, trying to get over it. All right. Let's say air to airing the low jump and running under the low jump going to be very difficult. Yep. Use that run, use that yeah, running heavy win. slash. Get yeah. some distance. One touch. Yeah, so far, that's yeah, not really working out. <laughs> well, that X just kind of putting on a clinic on Mina there. I'm going to say after the data from that round, I think we're going to switch to more of the zoning style, Mina. And even then, like, th th there's like an aspect where she has to commit to a degree. And Warden does have that deflect. Yeah, the unique parry on Warden. Gets a throw off the uh, the sweep. Yeah. And then you see Latinx, it's just this really nice slow play. It's not letting me trip guard. Like yep, yep. Here we go. Oh, no! Oh, no! I think uh, there was a little misinput there. But nonetheless, gets his damage, gets out, doesn't, doesn't pay for it anyway. Trip oh. guard again. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think he pressed something because he got countered. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, just a run-up throw. Have to have to heat back. So That's it. Yeah, this is, this is kind of somewhat similar to what Painbot was doing, but Vato's idea was like, I'm going to just take uh, Bates off the burst. So even if I lose, we'll both go in there. And I've already been winning the neutral, so. The DMB I mean, comes out ahead of Georgia on that one. Trading the resource when you're already up around is perfectly fine. A little, little bit of a different situation from the uh, the Painbot match, but yeah. yeah, it's a little bit like the, like for Painbot, he just wanted the he wanted the checkmate there. Yeah, yeah. Vato just wanted to like if I even if I lose, I want you off your resource too. Uh, here's the switch to Genjiro. <laughs> no offense, Bates, but I had a feeling that was coming. <laughs> yeah, you didn't really see much effect in this. No. Really. Like you can't really sugarcoat that. <laughs> Basically, like you know, if I if I gotta go in there, at least let me have similar damage. There it is. Nice DP. uppercut. That was scary too. That was a grappler jump spacing. What if he didn't press? That small short Ugh. jump from further range. Yep. <laughs> little little bit of chaos going on, but we get the wrecker off the standing kick. Face pursues it. Yep. Gets the jump. Uh oh. Misses the uh, projectile though. The there we go. An SSM. Mm -hmm. Well, it's one touch situation now. Warden is such a fun inclusion. <laughs> yep, so uh, Bates still has a uh, rage and uh, several tools, but uh, that's, that's not, that's not going to help. Shooting for the moon with that uppercut. I mean, with, with that much help, it's, it's difficult to you know make any optimal decisions. You just got to make one. Unfortunately, now uh, set point here. Mm -hmm. 
Bates is a, a big hill to climb. All right. Ah, does not convert the kick, though. Yeah, that overhead, a long range overhead from uh, Warden is a very similar harassment tool from Bike that we saw earlier. I like how Lassie Ooh. X is just playing super compact. He's not letting Bates is running and moving around, making flinch and scare him. Whew. And even if getting hit by that, yeah, that's a lot of damage, right? But at the end of the day, he's up around. He still has his bar. So even if he loses, he doesn't really lose, right? There's the command throw. Yep, there it is. Cop the roll. <laughs> get an online special. You hit your mass mark when you get hit by the uh, command grab. All right, there we go. Oh, oh yep. no. That's a crazy way to start the round. So now you got no weapon. You got no raise bar. You got you got the. Uh, oh, we missed the pickup. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got it that time. With no damage, in fact. And gets the DP. We're back to neutral. The uppercut on the recoil. Super heads up. Mm -hmm. I would be tempted to hit a button 100 times out of 100. And yeah, that's, that's one of uh, Genjiro's strengths, right? Having a strong DP, command grab, and a Rekka off of recoil makes him a dangerous person to uh, kind of go into that situation against. Oh. Good anti air. Mm -hmm. You may have that low jump, but Bates has the reaction. Yeah. Really looking. A DP is Gets definitely. Air hit through. into the cross Ooh, up. Yep. Let's go. Crosses up again. If you forward roll, you generally put yourself in a mix up, but you keep strong. The far C it. gets the heat out of him. There's That's a throw it. though. That's it. That's a 2-0 for that. Oh, yeah. Hidro definitely fared better, but it was a little too little too late. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think he should have went with his heart from the beginning, but you know that's it's but, easier said than done when you're not yeah, set up there. But we'll see Bates again before long. Mm -hmm. So that's the, our two winner side. So our um, winners final is going to be Scrub Cybat versus Vato, which is not unheard of. One of DMV's strongest versus the guy winning. So yeah. I'm not. It's not out of the norm. Love so, to see a character variety today too. You know, a, a lot of other games right now, you're seeing one or two characters in a lot of situations. <clears throat> I mean, in an alternate universe where this game has a lot more competition, you probably see a lot more Hibiki oh, yeah. Hibiki, So that's that's fair. That's fair. But like you know, with with the way it is, people are just honing what they have, and so you're gonna see a lot more um, diversity. The game is also definitely transferred into like legacy status with it being I don't want to say mostly dead, but certainly not as much of a population as it used to be. People are going to stick with just the characters they'd like for a long time. Yeah. Exactly what you're saying. They're just going to hone what they have. Yeah, so it's like, you know, somebody says, you know, I'm putting $5 million in the Sasho pot, and then a bunch of people run in, and you don't know what you're going to get there. So you, you, you got to kind of, you know, compare them differently, I feel. Yeah. But uh, so uh, next up we got our losers, our first losers match on top eight, which would be, um, I think it's Edge of Notion and Circle. I think Zerker was also playing uh, Biken. Biken, yeah. I can't remember. Ed Zerker no. plays Biken and um, Exert, I know for sure. Yeah, yeah. Not sure if they <laughs> play Stride. Oh, uh, yeah, I think they do. Okay. So. Uh, Biken committer. But I, I respect <laughs> that. If you're actually a Biken <laughs> fan, power to you. I will play my character in any game. Got the, got the mobile gotchas. <laughs> Pull it for Biken. That's true, yeah. She's an Epic 7 <laughs> as well, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And she's a war criminal in every game. Hey, man, she's out there working hard. Yeah, hardly working. <laughs> hard working hard or hardly working. But, yeah, yeah it's definitely uh, the, the signature character in this game. Um, definitely some, something of a community topic that is to kind of get debated about. If, is I, too strong? Is I recall the vote for the potential <laughs> ban of Biken. <laughs> now, she's certainly not like ST Akuma tier. Nah, but it's okay. So my stance on it is, she is really good, and she does have a lot of stuff that makes the legacy class hard to play against her. But I feel like the game, the state the game is in, people have not rigorously like figured out ways to fight her outside of like the top, you know, one percent. Yeah. And so most people are just gonna get washed by biking because you know they're not. They're not I guess particularly strong at their character, and they, they may not know specifically how they want to counter biking. So when you combine that concept with a character that's like already kind of invalidating to a degree, I see why it comes up. That's that's how. It's, that's how. I, I think about the the matchup as a guilty gear player. 
and how much I rely on the unique movement tools of the game. Mm -hmm. And then I, I watch and play against her in this game, and I'm just like, this is miserable. <laughs> she's got the keep out. Uh, obviously, she's got some really strong offense. Uh, options surrounding Kabari are so different in this game compared yeah. to Guilty Gear. She's really scary, and I understand the hate. But also, <laughs> like you said, game is still relatively unexplored in the grand scheme of things. I think so. And it, I mean, like, it might pan out that she, she's still a monster after what's said and done, but like... I don't doubt that. <laughs> but like, it's one of those things, like, you have you have to find out. And, and if you do, and it <laughs> just kind of the last aside, if you do want a character bad to me, then you're, you pick them up and go fill them with top eight, and then nobody can complain after that when yeah. they see four Vikings in top eight, right? At, at the very least, you'll come with a foundation. But here we go, we got Viking. Oh yeah, that's right, Nakaru, okay. Oh man. So Nako is also a pretty strong character in this game. Um, kind of similar reasons for Hibiki. She has she's really fast buttons. She can punish a lot of stuff. Um, again, like Hibiki, one of the best weapon flips in the game. The uh, trouble in this matchup might be the range, though. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Nagaru does not have the range uh, to kind of play in a range where 2B and 2C kind of in Kabari. Those, those three moves kind of exist in an ecosystem that make it harder to approach because it's like, well, let me, let me block. Well, she's going to Kabari you in. Well, let me press a button, then you get sniped by 2C. Yeah, yeah. In, in this matchup, uh, Nakaruru going to have a pretty good time in Rage. A lot of new punishes coming out from the 4-1-2C. Uh, mm -hmm. But we got to get there first. Yep. Got to see some IBs. Uh, maybe have to get hit a couple times. Mamahaha zoning, kind of scary uh, with Biken's jump and all the crazy stuff she can do out of it. But well, at the same time, though, Biken's range out from the from farther back are not as scary. Two not really like it. Except for, <laughs> for Kabari. <laughs> what a trade. <laughs> I think because she extended herself out, but yeah, she's just, she's just getting a snipe. We're not really seeing Biken just kind of, and there it is. Still ends up with the kill. <laughs> yeah, that's like, I'll punish this twice. Later. Yeah, I'll punish this twice. What, I think they weren't sure how it was going to work out in the corner. Yeah. And it just panned out anyway because the move is just so high recovery. Weapon flip still online. Going to go for it again. Big punish. Yeah. It was, yep. Yo, it sucks. The running kick. Again, I think that range thing is a little scary. Not only, like, getting in on Biken, but what if Biken blocks you? <laughs> she hits so hard. Yep. But it's all right. Edge of Notion, pretty tight. That was a, a fairly strong round last time, and we're going off to a pretty good start here. Yeah, Edge of Notion, you're trying to see that. They're, they're just slowing the game down just a little. They realize that if they try to, like, be a little rambunctious, they're just going to get smacked around. So you see it a lot more, uh, less com less committing, I guess. I guess I'll put it that way. Like you, see, you see those dash in pump fakes? So we saw the uh, the bird cling on the last Oki. See if Edge of Notion starts to do some of the tricky stuff over the course of the set. Good old Nako card. Make sure, you, make sure you're blocking low. Good anti-air. That's another thing I was looking forward to see out of out of her. Yeah, Mutsube is hard to jump on, so... Um, uh, Nako is definitely a consistent character, but yeah, it's like when you start playing in that range, even when you're right, it's not Karu, you're not gonna hurt as much as Biker. Yeah. So you generally wanna have some kind of stable game plan throughout the stage, which I think Ed's is trying to sure. figure out, but I don't think they can quite figure out what they wanna do with her yet. That dash A, one of her best tools. Mm -hmm. But being in a deflect state versus Biker is not really good. So that tool kind of turns on her because she can just TP her back. There it is. What a just whiff punish. <laughs> <laughs> just get sniped. Mama ha. Kabari on block leads to the throw. Such a scary situation. Yeah, Kabari on block is generally negative, but you like like the difference between um, Zerker and uh, <laughs> she's got side by the Swift side by will respect the frames, but uh, Zerker will like I think you're not gonna move here. Let me do something. Oh, baby punish on the recoil. Yeah, you, you get like, am I gonna run into a deflect or anything else? So it's always funny. Oh, <laughs> weapon flip ran we're, out. We're in danger now. Yep, there it is again. We're going to see a third one. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. 4 one, 2 There we go. Oh. No punish. Yep. So generally, oh, that's difficult for uh, most characters to punish at that range where it hits the tip, but like the Ruru's, they can run it. They can run A. Run A or the 4-1-2 the mm -hmm. special, I'm sure. Yeah, most characters cannot mess with that movement. Yeah. Though, so they're, they're unique in that. Yeah. Up Kabari gets punished, but the tech out back to mid-screen. Mm -hmm. Zerker's still in a, a pretty solid spot right now. Right. 
Berserker and Zerker's, Zerker's just me. <laughs> also, back on match point, mm -hmm. Edge of Notion, I'm sure, feeling the pressure now. Right. They're trying to figure out, like, how do I get in there? <laughs> that Kabari trade Good was just punish. awkward, but, uh, yep, it worked out in, uh, Zerk, uh not Zerk. Uh, it's no favor. Ooh, good punish good, again. Yeah. Gets the deep jump for the big combo. Zerkle trying to harass with that overhead. It pays really big for it. Really good stuff from Edge of Notion. Punish? Yes. Yep. Edge of Notion still in it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Got to be a, a little hype after the way that that round just went. Right. Using, using, using Nakaru's speed to his advantage. And, uh, but uh, what I've seen a lot from uh, Zerka as far as like C's and stuff like that, mostly the harassment. Oh, there it is. Goes for the uh, reset. Throw again. Mm -hmm. Goes for the reset again. Biken is a little overwhelming just standing near you. But honestly, it's a lot of characters in the game. Yep. All right. This is him. Nope. That was, a, that was an opportunity to win the game. But... Uh, Oh no! It's higher. Oh no! It's over. I think. I think. Uh. Oh no! Sorry. Yeah. Raid's yeah, still available. Should, well, yeah. Zerka should have just opened up with the weapon flip. Yeah. Or the uh, Ethan. <laughs> the fact that they started the game with they started with a normal. Yeah. Allowed, open uh, up that. <laughs> yeah. L little mental misstep there did cost the game. But uh, to one one. Yep. So it's a notion is ready. Like sometimes your opponent's gonna drop something. You gotta be ready. And so turning that I see, around. I see those shaky hands, and I totally <laughs> get it after that game. You were dead. You yeah. were dead and, and be allowed to be brought back. Like, that's one of the skills you got to have. Like, sometimes your opponent's going to mess up even though they've been beating you Running up. Running past be the mama ha ha is yep. totally disrespectful. No punish. Mm -hmm. okay. Harassment. Oh, yeah, the overhead, one of the other harassment skills. She's a suzeron. A lot of people don't use Suzerain because like her basic kit is so good, but uh Zerka, you know, being a being a <laughs> a biking lover, they probably just wanna make use of the whole kit. There it is. There's but that one was a little too that was close though. Yeah. Back rolls away to get some space. And then it's getting getting poked and picked apart by Nakaru, but like that's nothing scary so far. There's that two C. Alright. Overhead whiff gets punished. Alright. Scary oh. <laughs> situation. One touch for both. Yep. That throw, throw still goes punish. Was expecting uh, Zerka to be in a position that they weren't there. Still jarring after all this time to see throws recover for like three seconds. Yeah. But it's that's like, the game. It's funny. They're like they're similarly powerful too. But it's like one of the things in the game that has like a weakness to match is immense power. There it is. You don't want to like be careless in that range because it's like, all the stuff you've been talking about, and it's just all playing out. So the Kabari into the Rokon, mm -hmm. pretty good damage. Of course, Yo Johnson again. And it's like, yeah, these, these are this, this is probably annoying, but like again, Zerk is not losing. Oh no. Oh. Uh. Was probably betting on a recoil. I just wanted to pump in that uh deep like. Yeah, runs yeah. up for the throw. No burst. No burst. Probably, probably was uh, the buy was racing. That's how it is. Oh yeah. But, uh, Zerker prints it out with their uh, faith. With their faith. That is the end of the road for Edge of Notion there. Mm -hmm. Good so, to see Knock though. Good yeah. to see him come out. It wasn't even too bad. It was just like the risk reward got out of uh, Edge of Notion's hands. Oh, yeah. And so like maybe a little more consistency and that you know could go the other way around. But uh, we gotta have a real and a uh, noisy child up. So that's Jubei versus Yoshitora. Two base cast members. We forgot, we forgot what that looks like. True. Man. <laughs> Dude, do you remember Launch Yoshitora? <laughs> Yo, yeah, cross what up jump minute. C. Yeah, oh, randomly man. crossing up jump C. So, like, it'll cross you up because the game has no absolute guard. You're just going to get ripped apart. I mean, it still crosses up, but not mid hit. <laughs> no, not in the middle of it, no. Mm. So, uh, and then the other kind of thing hit is kind of taken is uh, one of the last changes to the game is um, stance break is invincible now. So you can just, I uh, just defend the first hit and just pump him off because he's not gonna just go through the dice. Like before you really couldn't do that, so he can harass you a lot over and over again. Yeah. But now, like if you have a keen eye, you can just just defend, knock him back. And guard cancel. You know, yeah. yeah. That was one of my complaints when the game came out. I, I was super happy to see that change. <laughs> uh, you know, offense doesn't feel like it's too terribly many hits in this game. Right. But awesome. when your guard cancel is just completely invalidated, that always felt real bad. Right, right, right. So that's not really a problem now when you got so we got Jubei here. Like again, one of the one of the solid cast 
arguably one of the ca the base cast members people will say kind of got out uh, the least harmed by Captain Power. Yeah. yeah. Yoshi I mean, too. I, I remember the, the big change was like the universal overhead changes. Yeah, uh, he actually lost a lot of his knockdowns. Yeah. So it did make him worse. But overall, his kit is consistent enough to kind of hang with a lot of the newer characters. Has some unique tools too, like really good long range punishes with the the run uppercut. Mm -hmm. uh, the far B, such a good harassment tool. Right. Uh, and if you get hit by one of those counters, you just you get lit up. You yes. Quite a bit of life. So that that actually makes jump C kind of a liability too, because that's one of the the things he might be looking for. But uh, let's see where we go. We're gonna we're going we're going nice and slow first. Run up block. Some, some changes some light pokes. Say, yeah, not much has happened in the first 10 seconds, but the APM is pretty high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing hugely committal, right? But that, there's the start of the there's the start of the uh, celebration. Game. All right, there he goes. Those pokes you were talking about earlier. The overhead, the, the standing uh, beast. Aru trying to find his way back in. And that's the a sweep actually connects that time. Yep. Uh oh. Get crosses under. There it is again. Yep. Due to that floaty jump, can punish the sweep. Let's say uh, a very. Uh, there, it is. there it is. Didn't hit deep uh. enough though. <laughs> Try a little, little bit too early on the spot dodge there, darn. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, one of the unique things about the jump C as well, you can hit it really high in the air, too. It's super hard to air-to-air -to -air this character when yeah. he has an active hitbox coming down from the top. But the other side of that is also this, each individual hit does not do much damage. Yeah. So if you go to test the air, it's not the worst thing in the world. But you, you still got to deal with it when you land. Yo. Sweep, you are not going to deflect me back. All right. Yeah, jumping versus Jubei can be difficult in itself, too, because... There's you can cover a lot of range. Oh, yeah. Yep, sweet. Noisy child uh, getting caught a lot on the ankles. There it is. I don't know if that's deep. Not like he deep hit that time. Yep, using that jump B as an air-to-air. -air. The other Yoshi wow. Tour. The jump beats the 2B. Mm -hmm. That's the overhead. Backs up. Doesn't want, doesn't want any trouble. He's looking for a deflect. Jubei may have lost the knockdown, but that overhead still hits from nearly half screen. And that, oh, no! Oh. Messed up the input, but it still makes it out. And that was like a free punish, but uh, <laughs> child almost, almost uh, had a bad time. Hey, man, have another chance. All yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen Aru not scared to just mash the uppercut in some situations, too. Might, might have killed Noisy Child there. But uh, on to game two we go. Go. There's the deep. Yeah, didn't, didn't believe in it though. Ooh, Nadesco getting punished pretty heavily. That's a DP, but it's still pretty much even. Yeah. Outside of certain situations, these characters are generally not doing big damage off their normal basic tools. Yeah, we'll probably not see huge hits until there's a punish situation or like a crazy deflect. Yeah, tries to go for it a parry. Oh, just a frame too early. Or I guess too late rather. I think they, I think, I think they meant to hit the B to go before they went into that. Yeah. But it, luckily there was enough block, there was enough hit split, and it worked out anyway. Let's say the hit stun on those deep hits just crazy. Mm. But that's just what makes them super imperative to hit. Mm. If you're early on your jump, uh, you lose a, a big situation. And that's also what. Like, on the table for both of them. Yeah, that is true. All right. We're slowing down just a little bit. Of course, this Jubei is not really good at punishing people for whiffing like on their way down. Good at handling you in the air, but not on the ground itself. There's that overhead again, just spacing out. Ooh, goes for the throw. Luckily, uh, the dab was waiting, because that could have been far worse. Aru Ooh. in a great situation, got this corner position, a roll out again, backdash to catch. Yep, chasing that roll Chooses hard. to use the rage even when he's up around. Yeah, I think I think that was kind of a frustration burst probably. Just like I'm about to lose and probably just not taking into account the um, resources on the screen. Oh no! Confirmed. Oh, that was it. That was it. But uh, yeah. Yeah. that's the that's the thing about uh, Jubei that makes him so strong. And the other characters like their beaky and stuff like you can't get away from them yeah. because like if you jump backdash, the pokes will still catch you. And they'll just keep moving up. 
scary character. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and like you said, still one of the legacy characters that's been been hanging on. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Yoshitora as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think the uppercut is still a defining feature. Maybe that's just what I value in games, but not a whole lot of uppercuts to go around in this game. Uh, generally not. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Yoshitori is one of the few to have one. Yeah, like Jubei has one, quote unquote. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's situational. The ground run, super mm -hmm. long startup. Uh, but uh, let's see what we got next. I guess we're going. Um, we're gonna keep on losers. I'm not uh, quite sure yet. Because I, I guess we're gonna. Do I have to assume we'll do the rest of losers. Probably Bates versus Zerker. Mm -hmm. And then take a trip back to winners finals before losers semis. Sounds about what I expect. You remember the shift when we started playing that uh, we had that buffer game before going winners finals to losers finals? Right. There were so many people that could not recover from losing that winners finals <laughs> match. I think it's one of the best changes that we made uh, competitively. Right. Wouldn't that was like Evo 2019 or something where they changed it up? Uh, I would say so. It's like, got to be in that I, era I, anyway. I wouldn't be able to put a date on it, but like, I would believe you. Yeah. You know, as someone who does not consistently make top eights, uh, <laughs> I still like to think that I can understand that buffer game will help you reset your mental coming from winners finals. I mean, it's, it's, to me, it's one of the things that depends how you look at it because I think you're right, but there's also like some people like want to stay hot. You need the momentum, yes. yeah. Even if you're coming off of a loss, yeah. you, you need the momentum. It's like you could argue that it's, it could be equally bad to be sitting in the chair cooling down while you're because when you get up there to play that uh, grand finals match, you make it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, your, your opponent's already warmed up. Or I should say, loses match. So we're going to have a. Uh, looks like we're going to have winner's final first. So Bato okay. versus. Um, Scrub side side bot. Mm -hmm. So it's Warden versus. Uh, Warden Viking. versus Viking. Two guest characters. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if. Um, if Bato has beaten Scrub side bot in tournament. I would say no. I mean, Scrub Saibot is a huge mountain to climb. Yeah, because I know like a few people have like knocked him in the losers here and there, but like I don't know if Bato's one of them. Impossible. Like if someone told me it's true, I would believe it. Bato up there sitting there, solemn, the sole DMV representative in Sam's show versus our uh, Canadian friend. Say, it. shout out to Max Mode. Uh, we got people from all over the country, from other countries. Uh, I, I look at the KOF scene as well. You know, we got F-King yeah. over here. F-King pretty much become like a friend of the Georgia scene yeah. at this point. So that's, shout that's pretty outs, cool. Shout outs to our Brazilian friends. Mm -hmm. Love seeing those guys up here. And shout outs to Fernicious too, if you're watching. <laughs> Brazilian moved to Canada. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. But enough But enough about uh, people from Brazil. We got to talk about Canada. Yeah, Canada over Steve and Uh... Well, we saw Vato make really good use of all the uh, the fake normals and the, the whiffs. I, I wonder if that's going to come into play. You know, I know Scrub Saibot is a very intelligent player, but sometimes your reactions are just going to get tricked by stuff like that. Um, I mean, obviously, um, you know, they have the experience of playing it versus Vato. And you get the, the aspect of Warden kind of bullying in that range is kind of offset from what Viking can do there, too. That's fair. Like off the top of my head, I don't know if like, like if a, out of like range two C, Warden has strong punishes for that. Outside of like maybe weapon flip. I wonder too, because uh, of the the importance of Biken's like non recoil normals. I wonder if we'll see Warden's unique parry come out. Possibly. It is very possible. Testing these buttons. Are we gonna roll into it? Yeah, I guess everybody's used to the monitors and everything by now. Yeah. Well, here we go. Got two heavy hitters coming in. Not unfamiliar. And uh, Kanmei Esports, um, I believe they have a booth here, right? Say that one more time. Kanmei Esports, that's uh, sponsoring um, Scrub Saibot. They have a booth here at Max Mode, right? Uh, I believe so. Someone, I I've been so. told that all weekend, so uh, well, I'll go check it out. But here we go. We're in the match. Zoning out with the Tsunami. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Check it for Kabari. See if anybody's home. I'm saying, I think that we're going to sit at that last range for a lot of this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scrub Taiba doesn't want to run into any crazy stuff. And you see kind of like the thing that makes uh, Warden strong, his low jump can actually work against him in the case of Viking, where she's jumping up and sticking a bunch of downwards normals. So that approach may not work as well. Ooh, and gets the deep throw, gets jump the deep. C, yeah. So much damage. Mm -hmm. Yep. Back to the spacing game. Yep. That's, that's a classic Viking tactic, using the top Sami to cover his space. For spacing. Warden also tall and not the fastest mm -hmm. on the ground. Gonna be really hard for him to run under bike in, in a lot of these jumps. And he also doesn't have a jump high enough to go over to timing consistently. Sure, All right, so the thing that usually defines him is actually you working against yeah. him like quite a bit. Yep. This is a trade. If, if the Warden's favor, so Vato's looking pretty good here. Uses the armor dash <laughs> to get in, but uh, missed times the meaty. Yeah. And, uh, Too tricky for his own good. So, uh, you know, feeling confident here. Doesn't burst the weapon flip. That's most people do in, when they're down around, right? Because you don't want to, like, try to fight your losing round without a weapon. And uh, it looks like the not bursting is coming back to haunt Vato pretty badly. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take it. I'm going to lose. I might lose either way. <laughs> Traded a surprisingly small amount of health mm -hmm. to, uh, for that weapon pick up. Well, I mean, you say that only in that situation. What about the six interactions before? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah true, true. Like, got harassed quite a bit until, you know, there was no health left. And then when you burst with no health, it makes it hard to be that threatening. You got the damage, but you can't, you also can't take a straight hit. Retaliates with that 2C, dangerous move. Yo, the 5? Mm -hmm. Yep, there's 6P six, uh, six for the Guilty Gear players, 6A for the Samsung players. But it still works the same, upper body invincibility or anti air invincibility in this game. Fato getting pushed back in the corner, really rough. Gets the reset, goes, takes a throw off the reset. Goes for the reset again, goes for a low. What are we doing now? Just checking for the four tech, nothing home. Just goes back to harassing. Yep. Uh, actually lands it. I mean, really good chance for Vato here. That's one of those things that the block when it come out, so the classic uh, Sancho OS. Oh, throw no. Whip. Punishes with the own throw. Yeah, Not going to be enough yeah. to take it. She's still so capable. <laughs> yeah. She's still, you still got to watch that. Like, she's not going to right, outright kill you. Well, yeah, yeah. Like that low health, maybe, but right? But you still got to worry about what she's going to There it is. 2B. But good stuff from uh, Latinx, a.k.a. Vato, for uh, putting one on the board. Kabari check. That could have been, that could have been, that could have been very tragic for Latinx. <laughs> 6B, yeah. Jumping on biking is really difficult because of that. Just to, just to cross under uh, close heavy. And we're back in the biking zone mm -hmm. in the spacing and pace. Right, yeah, when you have to take a life lead from biking, it can feel like it's a But this right. is a good way to start. <laughs> Ooh, Must have no. been inputting that as 4 aid and not get the pick up. Mm -hmm. Just, just trying to look, see what, uh, oh, there what you go. What a whiff yeah. punish. 2C. So this is actually something I've been actually exploring with. Is, I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I would stand up on that up. one, too. Had to pop up. But 2C actually does not have, like, a lot of active frames, despite how it is. So, like, if you actually get that read, that's actually a pretty cool way to do it. And Vato, uh, it presses all but hitting it. So, yeah, I that, bet that was worth the pop-up. Yeah. You, you, you deserve that one, Vato. I bet the DMV is going crazy right now. So you got a good crowd reaction, too. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm happy to see so many people watching Sam show. There it is. Good air to airs. Ah, but he goes into the uh, target combo too deep. It Again, is. Yeah, too tricky for his own good. Mm -hmm. Wow, makes the whiff, but no punish on the way down. To me, that's a mark of a really good uh, assistant Sam show player. Uh, using kicks. That's, that's how you know somebody like really plays this game. They use the kicks properly. Oh my gosh, that low jump is just gonna get hit by the fadeaway jump mm -hmm. these. Yeah, you can't really you can't really use a deflect against that. Yeah. That's what I saw about before, you know, biking with so many non-recoil normals. You can't deflect them. Not good air to air. Oh no! Commits to the throw, that's it. This is just the, like you were mentioning earlier, like in other games. It's like it's just the, just seeing it is just so weird, right? And when you do it yourself and whip, it's just it's uh, so surreal. No matter how long you play this game, I think it will be frustrating. 
And there it oh. is. Oh, no. Maybe it was looking for the burst and didn't want to commit the SSM. Because some people burst like right after the yeah. reflex. So that's, that's, that's what I'm my guess there. Backs up. Just, just some distance. You know, got the life lead. You don't want to commit too hard. Because Warden still hits hard. Warden's in rage. Like, even though Bike is that good, he's quite risky, right? Say, out of rage now. Still have to be concerned about the burst. There we are. All right. Gonna get away. Oh, no. Messes up the weapon flip. That could cost Vato to well, the You might not want to commit oh, to the weapon is. flip yet. Okay, there he is. Yeah, you, you notice that Vato has a habit of uh, just doing the uh, 2B <laughs> weapon flip whenever the life is low? Yozons. There it is. Classic. Lord. All right, 2 0. So, uh, Vato's got to do some soul searching. No, nah, 2 1, 2 1. Oh, that's 2 1. That's right. We got the pop off early. How can I forget? How yeah, yeah. <laughs> that amazing. Uh, it's so I do like, the, you know, the last two games. He's really been trying to get the, oh, no, the throw with, but yeah, barely that, punished. Yeah. That could have been really tragic. There's been a lot of moments where, you know, both these players could have lost a lot of health, but uh, during the chaos, it, it kind of gets lost here and there. But that's how it makes it the game. Out of the corner at the cost of a lot of health, though. Yeah. Right, let me get away. I want to get away. You just get popped and popped constantly. There it is. That far B. Getting caught up in Biken's pace again. Really going to have to accelerate the game if you're trying to beat Scrub Side Ballot. Yeah, it's, it's just hard to get a good footing versus a character, right? Even when you're winning. And there it is. Match point now for Scrub Saibot, trying to uh, trying to fight his way into grands. Mm -hmm. like, it, like you can't bring Latin X from the. Oh, there it is. Like we rarely see like her special moves, <laughs> like outside of uh, Kapari, like the parry aspects. So it's always a treat when you finally see him. Oh, no punish. There it is. No, where's the special? Losing it so may, it much. May, it may not have been the SSM version because the light version's not. There SSM was his version. parry. Yep, there it is. Yeah, both of, the, both of these guys are uh, still in high octane right now. Last shot for Vato. A lot of Biken's normals. Oh, no. <laughs> Bet it all. And the house won. Scrub side bot. But if it hit, though. But if it hit. I don't know. I think once you commit to this, a lot, not a lot of SSMs can anti-air very well. Yeah. They're like, they have low active frames, very long startup. And usually when they do any air, it's because you committed to something. So like, I uh, that was I think that was a big hail mary. Absolutely, absolutely. But, uh, Bato. but you know, it, it was a desperate situation. Yeah, uh, luckily that was winner's side, as you know, winner's mm -hmm. finals. That scrubbed Cybot to grands, mm -hmm. and we'll see Vato again in losers finals here right. in what three matches? Yeah, we got to figure out uh, who Vato's opponent is gonna be. Yeah, we're back. Time to see Bates and Painbot again. Shout mm -hmm. out to the locals. <laughs> yeah, Georgia hanging in there by a thread. We got, well, I'll say about that. We got three. I keep forgetting Zerker is local. Yeah. It shows how much I come out lately. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long drive for you. Mm. And you got life going on again. Man, always, always happy for you and, uh, and all that you're up to. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. But uh, I guess while we kind of like on a break, let's uh, give a shout out to Data FSG for bringing this Heck event yeah. to uh, Atlanta and all the people who came together to advance this event. We have uh, some cool uh, cosplayers in Georgia, too. I don't know if the uh, the Zero guy is going to come out. Who knows? Yeah. Man. So we got a noisy child and a hey, I believe noisy child is from uh, Louisiana, if I'm not mistaken. So this is, a, this is a little nice down south match. So we got the Jubei versus whatever whatever pain by feels like using. Yeah, he only plays half the cast. You never know. So guess who is the character he's been saying he wants to bet it all on except for Biden, right? Yeah. I can understand again. So get to you know he has the, the weird fireballs and stuff, but not the range to compete with Biken all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like just as a person who plays games, like from how long I've known Biken, he's somebody who values like consistency in tools rather yeah. than like high damage. We've also you know seen like a big shift in how people play fighting games the last couple of years. It's not uncommon to play four or five characters. Yeah, it's, def it's definitely helpful. So. Here we go. We go with Don't you tackle Wanfu? Cool to see Wanfu, too. Such a unique use of getting rid of his weapon. <laughs> okay, I guess it's oh, just okay. a check. But yeah, like, it's funny. Wanfu is a funny character because uh, it used to be like a huge detriment to get rid of his weapon, right? But they added the change where you can pick your weapon up off screen, 
Um, I think he had like two patches where they increased the speed once he could pick it up. Because before, like, usually he just he'd throw his weapon and right? he'd just be a bad character after being a pretty solid one. Yeah. But so now he can throw his weapon pretty confidently, pick it up, but it, it's probably not relevant. But, you know, I like Wanfu. I think, again, he's one of the characters I hope people explore as the game goes on. Oh, yeah, latter, latter half of this game's life, uh, got some unique takes on mm -hmm. the system. And I mean, Wanfu's been around in different games, don't, don't get me wrong yeah. there. But uh, see him come back in seven was cool. But of course, <laughs> going back to the, the Jubei, noisy child's <laughs> child. <laughs> All right, so we're going to see if uh, two, two characters that operate off consistency. Jubei more consistent, so gets you more like, I want to win a situation and then snowball it. Very, very bold uh, waterfall. <laughs> Not so much that one. And waking up against uh, so gets you could be very annoying because of it, too. Because, like, it's, it stays persistent even if you hit them. That's the, the, the thing that most people cry about in fighting games. I hit this person, but the thing is still Why out is there. Why is it still there? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. That pillar is a really good anti-air, too. So you can't approach so get carefully. And there he goes. I hit him, but it's still there. Oh, could have converted that to uh, DP, but probably didn't feel confident in it. And Wake up into it. That's the other aspect of it, right? Even if it's not hitting you, it's behind you. So if you commit to something, you might like accidentally push your hurt box into it. Yeah. Or you know, so get you might push you into it. So that's that's like the strong. Part. Turns out having an active hitbox somewhere <laughs> on the screen might be pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's scary too. It clashing with the fireballs mm -hmm. when it's short. <laughs> a little poke over the fireball goes ah, into Paybot's favor. Sets the sets the ball down. Gets a little too cheeky. Gets hit, but nothing crazy. I'm saying noisy child with a pretty manly mash after waking up into it. <laughs> uh oh. So we lost foot for a second, but uh, we, I think that was a Farsi hit. It uh, noisy child takes a bit of damage. I feel like Noji Tao is just too uncomfortable a little bit because uh, the range where Jubei kind of operates usually is a little hard for, uh, for them to approach. Yo. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think Painbot needed that trade pillar more than anything. Doesn't, doesn't want to commit to the deflect. Ah, there it just is. Just hits the jump in. Wow. Yeah, usually Jubei has trouble with that, but that sweep has a lot of recovery. Or I should say, uh, 2C. Yep, there's that running C. And Mike slowing the game down once again. Yep. Rolling forward versus a character with active hitbox maybe not be the best advice, but it, it didn't it didn't pan out too terribly. You're gonna have to trade your way to putting Sogetsu in the corner at yep. some point. And, and don't you tell doing a pretty good job of just kind of forcing the pain by back, but that sweep turns things like the back to the way they were. Feels like me, you know. Getting the situation that you want, and then just something crazy happens to where you lose it. Oh, no, can't yeah, commit any bigger. Yeah. Like, like, you can't let it go unchecked, but you can't, like, punish it. Okay, there it is. So, Noisy Child can win off this with the current um, Eastern Health. But, uh, not like not that, but uh, <laughs> just jabs out of this. I want my win. <laughs> I think uh, Pay by the Spectre that to be over. It probably uh, had Absolutely. To <laughs> Took his hand off the stick, got back just in time to match the A. Yeah. All right, so one on the board for Pain Bot. Yeah, setting out, setting out that water ball. Like, you can't approach. Yeah, that's a really good use of the running A. Just to like get in that range, get past the water ball, and just like present Pain Bot with some kind of resistance. Like you can't just put this out in neutral. After you knock me down, but not in neutral. Painbot with the consistency on these two Cs, I think he's whiffed one. Of course, it costs him around. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, I saw that parry. Yep, goes for the overhead. But the water ball uh, set off, so they didn't get the safety for the overhead. I, I love it. It's like usually that water ball is like a consistent force. It's like, let me, let me, like a base. I feel dirty drawing this comparison, but Painbot playing Sogetsu like JP. Like what? Like JP. <laughs> the concept definitely is there. Just like like you said earlier, it's like the active frames on the screen. What are you going to do about this? Yeah. Even if you're right, it may not work out in your favor. Goodness. And of course, Painbot here on match point. All Clearly right. been frustrating Noisy Child to death. Mm -hmm. Like Noisy Child is getting the hits in, but like you just, like you just, you just feel like they're just trying to find their footing, but he just keeps slipping, even though they're getting kind of what they want here and there. Like I mentioned before, too, has come into a lot of really good situations, but 
It's, it's just getting them reversed on him. Mm -hmm. Like like getting swept or yeah. getting hit by the pillar. And then you just got to do it all over again. The classic fighting game problem, right? 2D fighting game problem. All right, there you go. I, I was right. <laughs> See, danger time here, too. One with punish may not even let him burst. You may probably could have punished that uh, water pillar because it's actually really unsafe on block. But I, but uh, so Getsu not a very well, not a very known play uh, character that people play against. Uh, I can understand is just trying to fill it out. Yeah, unfortunately, game still has some uh, some matchup knowledge things. Just because the population of players isn't all that high. That is true. So uh, pain by the ghost of loser cities, I believe. Yeah. Um, next up, we got a bait, big bait versus circus. So Georgia versus Georgia. Good to see. Uh, Good to see Noisy Child out here, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, like you said, traveling from from oh, other parts okay. of the south here. Oh, man. Good run, of course, top eight. Yeah, man, I'm enjoying these matches so far. And, you know, like, my thing I was talking to Payne about earlier, but I'm really, really hoping that, uh, you know how, like, Combo Breaker and Frosty Fouses have, like, you know, Exert as, like, the place where they call home or yeah. UC or Taco. Like, maybe, maybe if we can keep this event consistent, we can have Sam Show call ATL, home. Yeah. the home of Sam Show. Yeah, like, you know, the first event's always going to be awkward. But, yeah. like, hopefully as time goes by, people are like, you know, maybe, you know, this is where I can go to get some quality Sam Show matches. But, I mean, that would mean people kind of pulling together, which, that's, that's the hard part. That's the hard part. You know, you're inspiring me. I have to check. What'd is there a Steam sale for Samurai Showdown? Um, I think SNK did a publisher sale during the SWC. Ah. Um, I don't know if it's still on. So I know they had uh, KOF the whole thing, like. Yeah, unfortunately <laughs> not right now. Mm -hmm. But definitely, if you're just tuning into the stream for fun, uh, like we said, we're trying to get more people to play Sam Show. Keep your eye on the sales. It's it's a fighting game in 2024. Right. Right. It's gonna <laughs> happen at some point. Steam is not a bad platform to play on either. Uh, like we mentioned, they they brought together the Epic and the Steam players. At least I hope that's true. I hope I'm not putting out misinformation, but I feel like it's true. If it's not, then, you know, fact check me. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it has to roll back, which was rough in the beta, but it came together pretty well. Yeah. I think it still kind of works with it, but given what it was, okay. you just kind of just go. Do you, you remember the first announcement, early 2023? Yeah. And then we waited. Yeah, we waited. And then it got real bad, <laughs> but here we are now. <laughs> we made it. We made it. And so now we got Big Bates. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's going to, after that last game, he probably going to just roll, get you yeah, out of there. Yeah, roll there. Because, like, I I think, I understand why he uses Mina, but, like, I think his comfort level with Mina is not tournament. He's not tournament. tournament. Well, she's certainly not a character I would expect, given his play style in other games. But Sam Show makes you do weird things. Bates has been been uh, working on his play style, like, pretty crazy. He's, he's playing JP. I can't do it. Yeah. But we ain't talking about Street Fighter, we talk about Ginjiro versus Viking. Ah, uh, you don't punish. want to throw versus Ginjiro for sure. Or anybody, really. Alright, alright. Speaking of recoil, both of these characters are really strong in recoil. Yeah, those unparryable moves to, to come out of them. And like, you know, so Viking can just like, you know, I'm gonna 2 but punish. Oh, nice. That close 2B. Really important for Gendro's punish, of course. Uh oh. That's oh no, no. Starters. Yeah, no confirm off the Kabari. But still gets a big hit. Ooh. Oh. I think uh, oh, <laughs> the step so dodge is just like, a little too much recovery. And so base, I don't think base felt confident. He's like putting something in there. I think it freaked them both out a little bit. Yeah. You know, the mash A into the stare down for just a half a second. All right. Weapon flip. <laughs> and uh, Gendro doesn't have many opportunities to land that one. He, I would say he was on the worst end of them. Low I range. respect that. Going deep for the mix-up mm -hmm. lets the weapon get picked back up, but Bates still has the momentum. Ah, not an overhead, but it's still meaty. Now, trying to he is that tempting easy. fate here. I mean, it's, it's one of those things like, okay, I do this and I get Eason. What happens? Yeah. I'm filling the round. My opponent doesn't have the bar anymore, or I win. Yeah. So it's like, it's one of those situations in fighting game where you gotta look at it. Like, is it really okay? Is it really that bad to lose? Yeah, I, I'm so cool taking that big hit because yeah. I'm in a great situation for the rest of the game. Because like, you get hit and then now you're in rage, so now your opponent is in low health, yeah. low hurry bar, and they gotta worry about your crazy DP and all your damage increased and just your own weapon flip to some degree. 
Well, Bates taking that one. I, I don't know what the laughs are up there. Is that Zerker checking some matchup notes? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. He's either looking at a biker fan or he's looking at matchup notes. <laughs> Maybe but you can get a power from either one, I guess. My my anti Gendro notes are fundies. <laughs> you just got to be better. And I see, like, the big thing is, I think Bates has realized that um, Zerker's offense is heavily geared towards, uh, like, harassing hits of throw. So you see a lot of that back dash is up presented. Yo, the walk up? Mm -mm. Cross up record. We back to week one. I think it's still pretty hard to block, it is. personally. Like, it's one of those things that you have to be well-practiced, but, like, again, Gizero kind of fell off the charts. Yeah. And most people didn't really practice it to begin with, so, like, it's one of those things where he can still get away with probably way more than he should. Yo, Bates with a far C challenge. <laughs> get a far C block. Goodness gracious, he's finding them so well. Bates Run up throw. This has been, like, a, a demon with those 2C far C. Um, yeah. Again, I, I respect that because Bates didn't want to give up his SSM, knowing that a bunch is probably coming. Yeah. Using that, using that, uh, using that uh, light slash to kind of good whiff punish. Yeah. That's funny. I thought we were gonna see the exit classic Suzeron <laughs> in the throw. <laughs> Ow! Actually, missed times the K. Yep. But still in an excellent spot to close this Ooh, out. Run just throw it out of the. I think that was saw the two B come yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> This got snatched by the caller. That's base 2-0. Quick work from Bates. Mm -hmm. So now we got a classic matchup coming. Probably the most classic matchup pre-COVID in this area, and even in some a lot of the tournaments that were going on, like KIT and such. The domestic. Mm -hmm. The roommates. These two have, uh, you know, helped each other grow. They played each other in many games. Very good friends. And so I mean, like they frankly, know for for some time, you know, I know Neil, uh, I'm sure anybody yeah. watching the stream knows Neil had to take a break for a bit. Yeah, These yeah. two guys kept playing each other. They're kind of nice. Yeah, well, shout out to Neil, man. Miss you, buddy. I know I just saw you, but I miss you, man. I wish he'd come out this weekend. <laughs> I cannot believe that my son would duck me like this. Hey, man. Yeah, he, he wanted to give us a chance to win Samson. I see. <laughs> and look, there's, there's, no, there's no Amakusa here, so he would have been all right. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know he's mad at me. The demon character. <laughs> we all got one to some degree. But uh, we got uh, Payne Badon putting up his poncho. Bates with his signature smile. Oh, oh man. It, yeah, seeing Bates not laugh at some point, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's a rare sight. <laughs> I think I would be scared. I think if Bates is not laughing, there's probably a very dire situation oh, happening. Because yeah. <laughs> I've, I've seen him not laugh a couple, like one or two times, and it's usually a situation. <laughs> where he has to get serious yeah. to a degree. But uh, yeah, we got this, but it's not gonna be the, cause like I remember way back uh, the Southern Fried Game, the very first tournament we had for this game, it was uh, Charlotte versus Tanta, or Charlotte Goodness. versus, uh, yeah. Was that really? A Charlotte versus uh, Gendra. Was that really a, a Southern Fried? Yeah. That's crazy. That was, that was the first game where we, I think it may have been at a local, but that was like the first time like we really came and played the game at a tournament. Southern that Fried was, Game. That was the before times. Mm -hmm. Goodness. But uh, yeah, we, we've all grown, and uh, it's been many years. Like, it's yeah. called Sam Show 2019, which is five years ago. It's easy to forget that this game is five years old. You didn't really think about it until that, did no. you? <laughs> no. <laughs> now you're making me crumble to dust the more <laughs> that I think about it. Man, I actually do think I remember that tournament. Mm -hmm. I was playing Haomaru, and every time i do a special move, I'd yell with Haomaru. <laughs> and I think I got wins just because my opponents were irritated. Oh, man, that was back when you could uh, kill DB combos in the first because the first didn't go high enough. So yeah. you would just whip DB to the first and just die. So, like, how Mar had the uh, combo with his uh, liquor, uh, liquor bottle. <laughs> and that Charlotte had her crazy uh, 5K. Oh, oh man. my gosh. And Gendro. <laughs> he don't have to say Love anything. Love back in the day, yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, this is definitely the classic matchup. Little homage to Neil, that's what I'm gonna say. Neil. <laughs> <laughs> so, winner of this gets to go on fight, uh, Vato. Um, I, I feel like 
And this is something I want. I want it to happen is uh like D some of the DMV, DMV's players, some of the Georgia players to kind of do like a little exhibition. Because we haven't really met in tournament because like whenever we travel, it's just never lined up. Yeah. So but now it's no choice. Well, it's, it's happened a couple times because I think Neil beat somebody from the DMV and I think somebody from DMV beat Bates. But like, I feel like it could be a good rivalry. Though, yeah. If we could get this scene kind of stoked back up. I would like to see. That, I was gonna yeah. say with with online play becoming the norm, I, I think the idea of regional rivalries has kind of gone down. But as we return to start going to in person tournaments, I can see it coming back. All right, so we're gonna go back, big old boy Genjiro versus so guess who. Yeah. No Tam Tam, no Charlotte. Times has changed. Mm. I mean, he essentially picked a character that that manifests the strength of both those characters. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just, you, you are can, not going to clash fireballs with this character. Mm -mm. If you commit too hard, it, it, that pillar is going to get you. Right there, there. It is punishable, though, so you can't just use that as a straight poke too much if your opponent is there. Ah, uh, the 6B. No, man, I love seeing it. Yeah, that's just the running. Oh, no. Tries to frame trap. No punish I, from Pain Box. Yeah, though. I think that was an attempted uh, SSM, and then it messed up. Probably so. Got the quarter circle instead. All right, sets that water trap. But you don't want to go past it, though, because uh, base still has that 2C on deck. Got to poke him down really slowly. That. Bates out of rage as well. Painbot might be allowed to take a couple more of this. Gets blocked. Oh, no. Oh, no, didn't believe in the punish. I, th I, th I think that was probably a, a misinput, but yeah. That's only, I think, one invincible weapon flip in the game, and that's not even frame one. And that's bizarre. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's the far seat. Nice big chunk of damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Wake <laughs> up, uppercut? It's not invincible yet. Yep. J Just defend the uh, stance break is perfectly fine, though. Good stuff from Bates. You block the oh, big minus no. thing, but you gotta wait. Ooh, good. Back dash and. So, guess who has that far seat? I don't know why Payback wasn't thinking about it. Like, literally travels half the screen. I would say, too, I, Bates, like, whiffed a, a C this match. Didn't yeah. get punished. Uh-oh. Bates plays it so well. Yeah, had, Choose had, the burst. Going to try and hit the checkmate here. Oh, no, I had to. Yeah, Bates is up there. Yeah. yeah, sometimes even I'm missing up the uh, key. Uh-oh. No way. Oh. The air reset. Oh, no. oh, doesn't keep blocking. No. The absolute guard. Gets the dash in. Right, right. Or is that the 2B? Uh, that was nice. Okay. Yeah, it's like that's not safe, but Payne by probably thought it would chip him. Yeah. Well, there's one for Bates. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't really remember. Their scores were just pretty back and forth yeah. back in the day, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Like they just knew each other so well, but there was, I think there was a time when, uh, before uh, like a lot of DLC came out that uh, Tam Tam kind of gave Bates a lot of trouble. But uh, I think that's not really relevant now. So Bates up on the board. <laughs> Ooh, tries to dodge. I wasn't sure what he was looking for, but uh, <laughs> recovers just in time. Almost, almost had a really bad day. Yeah, really good use of that just to bend to, yeah. um, to kind of diminish the threat of that bubble. And yeah, Payne by learning really quickly that he can't just he can't just water spout whenever he wants. It's actually cost him a lot. In good. Game. He was a little too far to pick up his weapon, though. Ends up beating a, a dash C. Yeah, luckily that's not the not not, not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. No punish. Yeah, face was like a frame Cross faster. The I think one. that would have hit. Yeah. Does not go for the charge card there. You yeah. uh, slice that back open. Yeah, this Gendro character is cool, even after all these years, man. Yeah, Gendro is a su super solid guy. Obviously, he's not as strong, but he's just like, he has all the tools. He's one of those, he's one of those characters I like to say he scales with players. And Bates is very skilled. Ah, it's guard break. Yeah, but not a big punish. No punish, yeah. It was, a, it was like a jab punish, Yeah, no, no Better punish, than nothing, yeah. but yeah. I oh, think no. <laughs> Painba anticipating the uh, the Rekka cancel, stop blocking that K. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're slowing it down <laughs> again. Yeah, that, that's what you want to use that spout for. There we go. Painbot getting back in the rhythm. 
Uh, pushes, pushes, uh, pushes base into that bubble to get a little frame advantage. Bubble. Bubble again. Where's the tower? There it is. Well, I was like, I can see the kind of frustration this is having. Alex for the uppercut. Just uh, not trying to hit that orb on the Rekka. Watch Two your toes. Scenes. Watch your toes. It's like, there's your champ champ sweep right there. Yeah. <laughs> Full screen grab. Goes into the weapon flip. Alex the burst yeah. there. There we go. <laughs> okay, sometimes you just got it. Uh, base had dollar signs in his eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, he's the one who has to pay. All right, we blocked. No, Bates! <laughs> yeah. There it is. He was not meant to win that game. That's I, all I took from I, that. I think so. I think Bates doesn't like. I don't think he's encountered that. Maybe so not. I, think, I think he just. Yeah, he's like, so used to Painbot hitting him. Yeah. Cause but, like, uh, good, yeah, good stuff from Painbot. You know, no matter how the W came, he got there. He did, he did. Sometimes, that's, that's how, I, to me, that's high level play, right? Learning how to play when it's messy. Yeah. A lot of people think high level play is being clean. It's being messy and still being consistent. Yeah, you raise your worst level of play rather than increase your cap. Mm -hmm. All right. Even it back up a Bates with the, uh, the corner situation. Is that running B? Whips. At least it was only the command throw, yeah. so no no SSM again. <laughs> and for a lot of people out there who don't know, like the, that's the big uh, benefit of the command grab over the regular throw. They're slower than throws, but they generally don't leave you open to SSM Good when you punch. punch them. Oh, get overhead. Goes for the cross up record, cross but no punish. Nothing. One touch for both players. Oh, that's a whip punish. It was. Oh it my was. goodness, Painbot is so insane. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure Payback had already committed to that, but it worked out. <laughs> Match point for Painbot now. Bates has a lot of work to do. All right, gets a throw off the deflect. Close to rage, so a, a touch could totally change the game. Yeah. There's the rage. And Gendro has like the fastest rage uh, decrease in the game. And, and, a, and a weapon flip that's difficult to utilize. Though, of course, it doesn't go down when you get knocked down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, I can't run out. I can't run at some gets. I can't jump at some gets. What do I do? The far B. No punish that time. I think the dash B, just being like a, a pretty long range knockdown tool, probably going to be important if he can make the adjustment. Yeah, base is like, you know what? I just want to take the bubble off the table for a little bit. 2C actually gets stuck. Oh, that no. Time. You know what? Oh, no. All right. So usually you can't do the command grab, but Paybot dodged really early there. Yeah. And I think Indra's on the among the uh, high recovery one. Uh, great. Yeah. Great. Great work from Paybot there. <laughs> There's our champion. There's our KIT champion. Still Heck hanging yeah. in there. He's, He's gonna hang out now. Fight Vato. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Bato got like we were talking about this earlier. You know, Bato's a little cold, but Painbot's a little warm. But we're going yeah. but Painbot is like still shaking. Oh yeah. And, you know, Bato probably got that peace of mind going. I would say Painbot, you know, he won that second game by the skin of his teeth. And uh I mean game three was pretty convincing. Yeah. But it's gotta be a lot of pressure. The more games you play, the more mental effort, the more stack. For sure, for sure. But, uh, you know, you, you also feel confident when you win, too. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, you know, the stuff, the stuff that I practice, the stuff that I did, it works. Especially fighting Bates, you know, no matter what, it's always a good time. So yeah. he, he does definitely have some positive energy going into these next sets. Yeah, he's already he's over there grinning. I see him. He took off the poncho, so I, I think Bato might be in for a fight for his life. Took he had off, took off the, the, the taken it off all weekend. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Oh man! So when did the poncho become part of his thing? Uh, he, he, he went. He went to Mexico with his dad, uh -huh. and he bought like a few of them, and then so he started wearing them. I see. Not, not to put his business out there, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I did. But yeah, so it's some really great matches. I'm really enjoying it, and so I, I really want to see this Georgia versus DMV clash. Kind of see who's coming out ahead. Yeah, I third guess. one for the mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. So we're going we're gonna to see if uh, Payback can crawl, crawl his way back up the Crip Sidebot because uh, that was that was a pretty uh, not such a great showing for him. I mean, like I said, when I was talking to Painbot yesterday, uh, he was like, 
don't make me look too bad when I lose Scrub Cybot. I was like, nah, man, you got this. You're yeah, going to run it back. You didn't have his <laughs> pain, but he, he lied to you. <laughs> we'll see if it can get back there, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Vato, I mean, he made it to winner's finals. Yeah, really. He's obviously very strong, so this should be a good match. This is one of those tournaments where you got three people who can just win a tournament. Yeah. And you just got somebody who just has, like, a decent enough edge over the other two. But it can go for either of these three players. Like, I respect their abilities in this game. I mean, you know, it's not the biggest tournament, obviously, but among the, what was it, like 30-ish people? About 20-something. 20 20-something, 20 yeah. yeah. You still have a lot of strong players in there. I mean, if you're playing Sam Show after all this time, <laughs> you, you care a lot, you put a lot of work in. If, if you're coming down from DMV from Canada, oh yeah, I, I imagine you care about this game quite a bit. You know? Down, down like to our humble tournament. Again, shout outs to Data FGC, mm -hmm. putting on a great show. Yeah, for sure. I've been enjoying the tournament so far. Just, if it, you know, Kraken's, I guess his idea was like back to gaming. Yeah. And, and that's what it feels like. So I, I really hope to see it again. But even if it doesn't come back, I enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. I think really special too, and this is something I, I don't know about other TOs, but Kraken insists if you're going to work at this event, you have to play something. He's not going to let you miss your bracket to help out anything. <laughs> Uh, you know, they, they run events, but they are fighting game players first. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I, def I definitely did my 0-2 in Sam's show. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is a side match. These these two have uh, played each other, I think, at Lunar Bout. That's back when uh, Bato was playing Shiki. Mm. So, that's when Bay Bot made his uh, first first uh, plane trip ever. Really? To, yeah, to go to uh. New York. And uh, he got... His, uh, I think, third place because he got put out by ADOCR after a really tight, hot battle. But he, but he even, I remember he came up to me after that and he's like, man, that, that gave me confidence that I could play at a high level, Heck yeah. that I could win stuff. And then I think that's after that he won Kit. It is like, yeah, it's like that told me that I, I can believe in myself for this game. And that, that, that kind of thing is like super validating because I think I've always heard that when somebody gets their first big win, yeah, but they didn't think it could happen. It's like, I see the path of what it is. That's always a concern, and I think that's in the the more aware the actual high, higher level fighting game players is like, I think I'm good. I just have to get the results now. Prove it to myself. Prove it to the other people. Right. Awesome. Well, we're gonna see who's gonna prove it all right now. We got we see some of the Georgia folks. I see my pal Gunshot from New York supporting. Funny story is that when he when Paintbot actually went to New York, he got lost in the train. And uh, Gunshot is his old buddy from uh, like early Street Fighter four days, mm -hmm. and uh, he lives in New York. And he found paid by the train. That is crazy. <laughs> He's like saved my life. <laughs> it's a small world. <laughs> well, I mean, he told him where he was gonna be. But, oh, like, I see. But they, but he was lost on the train, and he happened to run into Gunshot. Gotcha, and then, gotcha. So Gunshot saved him by knowing the train system, which New Yorkers will tell you all the time is simple. But then people go there and they get lost. So I don't know what's really. True. I haven't made the trip up there myself, but. Uh, <laughs> I'll find a homie to find me on the train system, too. <laughs> it's definitely a trip I want to make. It's a city I want to visit. Mostly so I can eat all the food, but have one of those infamous bagels. Mm. All right, man. Like he did his time, so now he's here to work. So he got Big Bates uh, holding, it, holding down the uh, admin of the stream. So... I guess they wanted to showcase that uh, SSM before they got started. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. Iroha is a very artful character. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like her that's a lot what else. mechanically, actually. Oh, yeah. I, that's, that's one of the characters I think, if you boil it down to, I wouldn't be surprised if like, she rose up to like, top three. Yeah. But because she's like, she's one of those characters that has like, a lot of nuances, but she has a high power ceiling, in my yeah. opinion. Gonna see the uh, Sogetsu versus the Warden. Mm -hmm. I cannot imagine that Warden is gonna have a good time. In this <laughs> Jumping matchup. around bubble. <laughs> you think he'll jump over that bubble, man? He hasn't. I think he can sweep under it a little bit. So he has some kind of recourse, but it's. This is where Bottle wants to be. <laughs> like, he wants to be That's relentless. Safe. Yeah, this, this may be like the first touch setting the pace might determine the game. But now the Oki's not that crazy in reality. That but now we're back to the pain bot zone. There it is. <laughs> Yo, that 6-6-A becoming plus because of the bubble is so scary. <laughs> Pain by betting it all on that uh, on that water spout. 
Back to the corner. I love that yeah. overhead from Borden. It's so it's, 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 it's so good any year. Yeah, pay by not committing too much because those jumps are pretty deadly. They they've taken most of his health. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> that is not how I expected that round to go down. I, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen after that. Like that, I think that it, was Vado going through a throw. 100%, uh, yeah, for sure. 100%. I think I think if he committed to the button, that was paid by loss. Payback oh, no. got got away with murder, man. Cause I, I'm pretty sure uh, Bato had enough time to land and that's in there. But that the jump sees. Ah, oh, misses the punish. Whiff, whiff cancels out of the punish. That's like a weird quirk that happens in this game yeah. sometimes. Back to the corner. Yeah, it, was, it was those air to air. <laughs> Unfortunately, Warden is not too bad at bad at him either. <laughs> It's actually one of the really high level things that I see he's doing. He gets the read on the air to air or another jump back and sticks out that button really early. Right. All right. Able to swing earlier there because he was standing, of course. <laughs> a full approach. I think, I think a lot of people don't know to punish that, how to punish that, really. I'm pretty sure like if you jump over, you have enough time to jump again and get a jumping combo. Mm. But again, again, this is the thing we kind of been alluding at is that you know, not everybody has like that specific deep matchup knowledge. We're just really strong in the layer one, as I, as I like to put it. Oh, really good water spout. Back to the corner, no bubble out, of course. It's gonna be okay. tough to fight out. Warden does have the rage though. That's the round, isn't it? That's dope. Oh no, yeah, it was nair hit. It was, but uh, I think Painbot was just a little too slow on the. Uh, uh, if only you had an SSM. <laughs> but it's still not too bad because Painbot still has burst. But you know you can lose to the e or the grab. Yo, oh my goodness. That's, that's, a, that's a classic tactic, right? Your opponent bursts, you run back in and throw because they don't expect you to commit. One on the board for Painbot, trying to get trying to get George to the grand finals. That one was a scary game for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's a back and forth. Like you can't, you can't really decide what's gonna happen with that set from that. Match. Yeah. Good anti air from the water. The water spout there. Couple whiffs from everybody, and now we're back to the pain bot zone. But a great wake up, just defend. Mm -hmm. taking one out of the uh, Facebook. Oh, that's a cross up. Can kind of do the kind of things that like characters like Rimuru can do with that bubble if you set it up right. Where you just like punish people heavily for, for four checking. All right. It's rough. Just the level of commitment that you have to have to get past the bubble. Mm -hmm. But if you're just waiting, ooh, good punish. Yep. I mean, bubble's still on the table, but uh, you're not gonna get swept. <laughs> hey, get those high up. jumps. Sometimes you just pay the price to, t to pick it up, which is not really a bad decision. Oh, man, that rage is about danger. Oh, no. I think Vado's like, where's it going? Where's it going? It's kind of funny seeing it wiggle and just like, it probably puts you in flight and flight and flight mode. Yeah. Like, do I, do I block? Do I move? Especially you wake up rolling at him. You're like, I'm close enough to hit a button. <laughs> and I got counter hit. Yep. A little bit of A action. Just uh, poking each other with those small ones. Got real Ooh. tricky. Doesn't convert after the hit though, because I think uh, Warren is like automatic. Uh, I, he might have to charge it in here. So. That's SM connects. Right. Or, uh, sorry, weapon flips connects. Yep, and he's tried this tactic before. And I dare you to pick it up. Oh no, he got what he wanted. He got what he gets wanted. Gets the anti-air anyway. though. He gets it anyway. Pay by playing with fire. <laughs> oh yeah. Risk it all. I mean, like, even he, he got the situation he wanted, he put himself in a position to lose the match. To lose oh, the yeah. Match. <laughs> I got the situation I wanted, and I threw it away. Oh, <laughs> crap. Man, we've seen this the exact sequence like four times already. <laughs> I think I think Painbot has to be uh, more aware go. of um, Vato's inclination to use jump pressure there. Yeah. Oh, got the bubble in this bout. That's great. Cross up, gets a little safety and some space. Now, I am really digging Vato's early jumps. Yeah, me too. Like so. And then he mixes it up with the late jump in like that. But you know, the direct approach is still not, not too strong. Though. Good punish. Not much, Ooh. but. I'm, Vato is probably uh, very glad he didn't commit to that weapon. 
Because <laughs> that air reset would have got him killed. Air to airs. Yep. Let's go. Not enough damage to, to take that trade, unfortunately. There it is. Got the water spout. What are we going to oh, do? Oh, just yeah, a little bit different spacing that time. It's so frustrating, that, yeah. I guess. That's why it's so scary, because like it might be nothing, right? Yeah. Or it might be you have to instantly block it. I like this too. Painbot, after getting guard canceled so many times, making the adjustment of run up and block. Mm -hmm. There's so much cool stuff happening here. Yeah, for sure. Of course, it feels like Painbot's in the driver's seat if you look at how this round has gone, but he was actually down until right then. I mean, yeah, you look at his health bar, it tells the same story. Yeah. Uh, Vato is, is, you can see some struggle, but Vato is like struggling in a way where he's still operating off of a good game plan. Try to accelerate the pace with these dash days. There's the jump. <laughs> hey, sometimes you just got the read. Mm -hmm. If you pressed up on that bubble, though, <laughs> my history might have changed. But it is what it is. Yeah. Good jumps by Vato. Finds his uh, first game of the set. Mm -hmm. Trying to work his way back into grand, of course. All right, punishes the deflect. I'm not quite sure what um what from Sogetsu is looking for the deflect. Cause uh, Playbot's not really going too heavily on a uh, deflectable normals. That's true. But there's also not a lot of room for Warden to even attempt the parry uh, when there's so many projectiles instead. Yeah. That's really rough. Every time that he rolled forward, he felt compelled to jump back. That there it is. is. Auto guard. Yep, there it is. I think you get both hits if you're close, but that was a farce or the other. Side. Well, it's not close enough, I think. I got to refresh my notes more than this, but, uh, Whiff, but no with punish. Yep, using that OS, because that, that weapon flip was definitely behind that uh, TP. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, like, I can feel it. All right, so Vato still has a little little room to turn us around. Probably wants to try to get that weapon flip out. Like, you see it. Scary here. You know, he's like one just defend or one hit away. Oh, back in rage. Oh, no. The guard break. So I, I don't I don't think uh, Vato noticed it in the, in the heat of it. Because I, I, think, I think at that point, um, you can just cast it into the target combo and then do something. Yeah. Air reset. Oh, no, I thought I, thought, I, thought I saw the back there. Okay, good Will stuff. Will he take from the trade for the flip? Oh no! So far away from his sword now. Still got, still got bubble. It still had water spout. True, but, true. But uh, I think, I think it got kind of narrow minded on picking a weapon. Yeah, honestly, he he might have been better off just neutral attacking and taking the trade there. Loses the round for it. Mm -hmm. But still in a good position. Got oh, the yeah. raise bar. Good. Good punish. Mm -hmm. Having a really long, long, long range low goes a long way in <laughs> stopping deflex. That can't be parried, too. That's, mm -hmm. Man. So, like, you have to have some kind of specialized tool to usually beat stuff like that. Oh, no. With, but no one punish again. <laughs> too late. No. Why did you, why did you SSM back? That was your win. Oh, He's no. in anti-air. That's it. Yeah. 3-1. Good effort. Like, that was, like, the score betrays how much effort paid, but I had to put in the Oh, yeah. Man. No, those were those were pretty tight games. Mm -hmm. Like, the subtle spacing, the jump-in timings, like you mentioned, were really good from uh, Vato. And it's like, this is one of those things where you're like, one or two more adjustments, and then, you know, yeah. that thing swings, swings Vato's way. But good stuff from Painbot pulling out, getting Georgia to the grand finals. You know, the Painbot Pain Discord <laughs> all in, uh, like, these are the Painbot uh, voice chat Discord uh, members out here celebrating them. Yeah. And now we have a, it's a straight run back from the first game that we had on stream. I wonder if he still believes in a beacon or if he's willing to try Sogetsu. Because I think he's has more comfort, comfort with uh, Sogetsu. Like, I see the, the logic, but I think his comfort level with a beacon is not high enough to challenge somebody of Scrub's caliber. I, I think the, the tough thing about Biken against Sogetsu is Biken's different number of approaches. Right. And uh, I, I feel like the Suzeron might just invalidate the orb. It could. It could. It is funny. That's a tool that Scrub Sidebot is known for not really using. Yeah. But, like, once the but orb comes out, you'll probably see it a lot. Yeah. I was going to say, smart a player as he is, as winning as he is, you know that he has crazy ideas stored up for many situations. For sure. So, like, I think it can go either way. Like, I understand the logic of Ibiki, but, like, I think Sogetsu could also offer him value. Yeah. Because, like, having a counterplay matchup is, is a good idea, but when you're not super comfortable with yeah. it, and you're playing somebody who's really strong, I think some of the – Pick your main chip. Yeah. 
pick your main chicken. Pick your pick your main chicken. Good luck, class. But we got uh, we got we got the Georgia guys in, in gunshot. But I'll call them Georgia today. Uh, out here <laughs> celebrating them. They they crowding around. We see the uh, audience pack up a little bit. You know he's got his family out here, so yeah. So he's either gonna get biking in front of his family or <laughs> or overcome the beast. <laughs> overcome the beast. Of course. You know, he's loser side grand finals. Mm, this, this Everybody, awesome. every commentator says it at the end. But he has a big mountain to climb. He's yeah. got to win two sets to win the tournament. Awesome. So on, so on. That carries more weight when you got slapped around in the oh, uh, yeah. winter uh, cities. Uh, I love payback, but he, he got slapped. Yo, is the boss for a pick real? <laughs> I don't think That would be crazy. Good old champ champ. Like we said before, though, Painbot does play a multitude of characters in the game. Maybe, maybe he has. Maybe he was just telling everybody he was going to play Hibiki. He was playing the super, super long game. I mean, yeah, it was. It's definitely pretty long if you got up there and you got too old. Yeah. <laughs> it might be too long. Indeed. He, he, he might be playing when after the game is already done. Oh man. Yes, get rid of the macros. <laughs> I definitely do, but it's not because I'm an anti-macro. It's because I, I fat figure so much stuff, and I just, like, burst by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice he picked the, the awful retro costume. <laughs> <laughs> and when they first uh, did the guard crush mechanic, you couldn't actually see it. You couldn't actually see the red glow on the retro skins. Oh my god! It was just like very slight. Then they added like a like a pulsing weird red glow on them. Now this is actually pretty weird. It is funny the the times, the one time that there's been a guard crush. Uh, uh, nothing happened. It, well, <laughs> nothing happened. Yeah, but also like he had so much guard stamina left that he wasn't even glowing yet. That warden normal did so much guard damage. Well, you can't you can't get guard crushed until you're in the red state. Until you're red, mm -hmm. okay. So it might have just happened. I, I don't think know. It, I think what happened is uh, the last hit put him like, right there, yeah. and then like the C, so he didn't have enough time to parse it. Regardless of that, we talking yep. about there he is. So did pull out the sogetsu for this set. See it's how like, this goes. Looks like Payne Bob was listening in. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not an insider. All right, using that bubble. It's uh, that's an aspect we can think about. Like we were talking about suzerain, right? But uh. To a degree, I think that uh, Scrub has to commit to a Suzu run, right? I didn't even think about it, too. The the 2C and the dash C might just have the range to where he can punish the startup. But, he's, of course, he's got to wait for the situation to come up. Right. And then it's just like in, the, in Guilty Gear games, he doesn't parry lows. And then think about so gets his uh, 2C. So if you commit to us, eh. There we go. We'll take those trades all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Classic. Yosan. They should have put the chain smoker voice in this game. <laughs> this is still pretty deep, but it's still pretty funny. Man, it's actually put a hearing girl laugh after she gets knocked down. Like she's oh, yeah. having a good time. Had the reads there again. Scrub Cybot. Well, honestly, like all of this top eight, really good at changing the timings on their jump in normals. Come up with some really neat situations. Good punish on the uh, stop, st ah, spot. The spot. There, there it is. is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really excited about. This. Hey, like you said, <laughs> just a little bit of harassment. All right, we're back to nothing on the screen. Too scary to throw a bubble at this point. Ah, but the tower's going to work, punish the Kabari. So, like, I guess that kind of goes both ways, right? Yeah. The Suzerain's there, but, like, Biker can't, like, spot yeah. check with what Kabari. What if he just doesn't? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's that overhead. It's a pretty good one, too. <laughs> oh. Trade with the two seats. Nice jump grass. in, punish on the throw. And I feel like one of the big boons for Payne, by, even though I, I was kind of talking down on him, he did um, control uh, Scrub side by throwing at It's pretty well. That's true, that yeah. Painball has also shown the uh, the willingness to spot dodge and did the SSM out of it. So Scrub Cybot definitely in for a ride. Punish on the deflect attempt. <laughs> Slow it way down. <laughs> Maybe I still going to think about that burst. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, you don't want to get straight hit, but I think I think Painbot is a little tunnel vision right now. Yep. 
unfortunately just finds a bad timing there. You know, you think about people jumping over fireballs and like Street Fighter. <laughs> That's a real, real tough read as it is. But Sogetsu is wide open in this game. And then versus a character with a half screen jump normal. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say with the with the normal that big and coming down that early, it might invalidate the like moving the orb back for the trade against the jump normal. Of course, right. that was the end of the round, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Right. But uh, Painbot, I think in general has made really good adjustments. I think so too. Yeah, this, this is like you just tell like I don't want to commit too hard. Just trying to nice see. run under. That is the kind of anti airing that I like to see in Ooh, this game. There's that parry. The zombie, bro. Yep. That's, a, that's another tool you don't really see. Probably because of the nature of the game, that throws are really strong. That just was a, a good idea, late. just a little bit late. Does yeah, not finish the combo, though. Leaves Painbot with a chance. Just going to try and wear out that Rage timer. It doesn't have to deal with it in the next round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's just kind of another thing Bike is good at. She, does, she punishes you pretty hard if you chase her. Just, just like her in the other Guilty Gear games. But yeah. Big punish on the, the jump. All right, and that's not where Pain by wants to be, but it's, it's not it's not too bad. Still got a rage bar, still got your special moves. Oh no. It's a bad time. The that's anti crazy. Beat. I might be crazy actually. So I guess he might not have a special move for the sword. That actually might be the case. I might be over here misinforming people. <laughs> Cause I don't think Painbot would do that otherwise. Oh, that was rough, man. Against Scrub Saiba, it's it's really felt like once he disarms people, they're not going to get it back. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm thinking, like, just take the damage, pick up the weapon immediately. Yeah. You, you will definitely stand a better chance. Goes for the full combo instead of the uh, reset. Elect for the throw, punish, or mix up. Don't know if that was a real punish. Yo, holding that Azami like a man. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a far C punish. Decides to roll forward that time. Painbot gonna come out with a little bit better positioning. Mm -hmm. And now that we have the bubble established at far range, we have a lot more freedom to just do stuff. Painbot's like, I'm not committing. <laughs> oh no, probably one of the much better punish than that, but you gotta take it. Yeah, in, in reality, like even the close Cs are pretty slow. So reacting to the deflect attempts is pretty difficult. There's the Suzeron, ignores chip damage, air hit, unfortunately. Nice work from Painbot. Actually, Painbot kind of um, embracing the mess that round, I'd say. I think so. Right, set out that bubble. Not using it so much as a harassment tool, but more as a shield. Yeah. It's probably much more appropriate, because you can react to Suzeron then. Oh, no. I was looking for a little poking and uh, got hit by Jump C. <laughs> Take those trades. Down a little bit of health, um, and now we're back up. But just have to establish the game plan. Ooh, overhead over the 2C. What really a low stuff. crush. Yeah, that overhead is a really good harassment tool. Really good. Mid screen again, and because uh, Painbot doesn't Ooh. have any. There's the knockdown. Okay, gets to start his timer again. That's an that's, that's, that's okay trade, but there's the round. Yeah, that's the round. So that trade doesn't matter anymore. Nope. <laughs> Got him out of rage and is like two IBs or, or two hits away from getting rage himself. He's actually set up to win this round. But we got to get there first. Yeah, got to find the hit. Uh, is that an air hit? Yeah, it was. No. Oh, no, just like Bates. <laughs> it wasn't ready for the last hit. I think that's one of those supers. Like, you know those supers that just have so much to them. You just yeah. like, you have to practice knowing when you can hit your button. Nice, That's just barely walks out of the corner. Ooh. No weapon. This is going to be a, most likely a wholly unarmed round. I think, I think Painbot is, oh, no, uh, ends up finding it again. It's clued into something really big. It's a throw. Forces out the burst. Oh, no. No punish. That's it. Oh, this is huge. So it's a big weapon uh, flip. We disarm in the corner. This is two. Without your burst. Oh! Ooh, has to take the opportunity to pick up the weapon there. I think the intention. Maybe could have been like a throw into a sweep. I think Painbot's intention there was not was to actually punish and then pick it up. Yes. But he used the jab button or the light slash button, which overrides anything you do if you're standing next to your weapon. One touch on both sides, potentially. Uh, Painbot would need a really big hit. Yeah, a jump in. Oh, good idea to add an air, but the and space the was just off. 
he was getting the right ideas towards the very end, but it was, it was like a little too, little too late. Really. Absolutely. The so like, Scrub Saibot really put the pressure on. When he showed early that he could deal with just like the bubble and neutral, it, it became really hard. Painbot had to establish a game state before he could do that, whereas against the other players in the top eight, he just got to do it for free yeah. sometimes. Anyway. Yeah. But uh, good stuff for Scrub Saibot. Consistent winner. They, yeah. Those two have not met in tournament, but uh, scrub bot, uh, <laughs> scrub, scrub bot. bot, yo, pay, pay bot has finally got put on the list of victims that yeah. uh, <laughs> that uh, scrub side bot has acquired. Yeah, you know, it was three L, but I think it was a really good set. Yeah, yeah, for sure, uh, for sure. I don't doubt that these guys are gonna play again later. Maybe I can talk them to a money match, some little high <laughs> stakes. You know, it is ATL. It is. It is. It is, man. man. And yeah, those are great matches. I enjoyed the top eight a lot, man. Yeah. Um, Man, there's not a lot you can really say. We're just fluffing no. it up at this point, but good stuff to all the competitors. Uh, man, and I really so happy we got to get together and play Sam Show. Yeah, yeah. doesn't happen a lot these days, not mm -hmm. in the states. Yeah, like unless you go to like the Frosty Fountains and Combo Brick, I think those are the two big tournaments yeah. for it. Um, but other than that, uh, I hope to see you here more. But regardless, good stuff. I was rooting for Payne Bot to the end, but uh, oh, yeah. Side Bot was too much of a, a mountain to climb over. Even his commentators gotta gotta root for the the homeboys. For sure, for sure. But we but we, we beat the DMV, so I know I know a few of you sure, watching yeah. out there. Like you said, that's the rivalry you're trying to start. <laughs> I'm, trying to so start I'm starting now. We knocked out your boy Vato. Like if you sent your boy Tao here, we'd knock him out too. <laughs> I wouldn't. You? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But like, but for sure, I'm glad all of you tuned in. Uh, no. Watch this. If you're not familiar with Sam's show, I hope you managed to give it a try. Uh, if you are. Did I hope you enjoyed those matches? I certainly did. Oh yeah, like I said, keep your eyes on the Steam sales, uh, PS4, Xbox if you happen to have one. Like we said, it's it is the superior platform. Run it at 120 FPS. hertz. A <laughs> uh, little bit, little bit better input delay. For sure. um, man, Sam shows a good game. All right, uh, I'm not gonna fluff it up anymore. Thank you everybody. Thanks yeah. Data. Thanks to all, everyone tuned in. Um, I don't know. I don't know what we have next. So Tekken, Tekken 8, eight pools. So if you want to see some 3D action. Stay tuned. Thank yeah, you all. Around. Bye, guys.